hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video from me today we are continuing on the clothes series so if you've uh, checked my previous video you would have noticed that I made clove oil that I would use for my hair and um, like I said I've heard a lot of good things about it so I wanted to be sure if it also works so I decided to try it in my hair if it works fine if it doesn't well I have nothing to lose <laughs> so uh, today I'll be trying the clove water I've not used the clove water and I want to show you guys how I will be making the clove water and how I'll be applying it to my hair most videos that I've seen they use a mason jar but I do not have a messenger, but I have this plastic jar, whatever it is called. And then I have my water here. My water is at room temperature and I have my clove. This is the clove that I'll be using. I just went to a local African store and I got this clove. Um, so this is everything I'll be using. Let's start. In the jar, I'll be taking, uh, this is one tablespoon. So let's say I'll take uh i'll take two tablespoon of the clove and then i'll fill it up with my water i think that this um clove is too little for the water so let me just add one more tablespoon of um clove And I'll just stir it together. So I've had people leave their clothes for some hours and all that stuff. I think I'll be leaving mine for 24 hours just for it to, uh, what did they call it? Infuse into the water properly. Um, I'm honestly tempted to pour the entire cloth into the water, but I'm trying to resist the temptation. <laughs> I'm really trying to resist temptation. I think I'll end up pouring it. Although I want to use this batch for the entire 30 days. I'll be putting my hair in a protective style for 30 days and I'll be applying it to my hair every other day. That um, three times a week, I'll be applying it to my hair. So that's why I'm making this amount of clove um, water. On a normal day, I wouldn't make up to this amount. So I'm tempted to just use everything. Let me use everything. Yeah, just use. Uh, the entire clove that I got. Is it normal for the clove to float? Every other person that I see, their clove is usually settled. You know, but mine is floating. <laughs> uh, so it is said that you can put this in, um, if you're living in a warm country, let's say like Nigeria, you can just put it by the window and allow the sun to eat it and then it will be warm. And I'll just leave it for 24 hours and by tomorrow I'll bring it out and when I get back from work I'll make a video on how I apply it to my hair alongside the clove oil that's everything about how to make the clove water It's pretty much simple I don't know I think some people boil it but I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to just let mine infuse uh, normally and I hope I used enough clove because there is no measurement to this thing you just eyeball it eyeball it and that's it so um, hi guys welcome back this is 24 hours after i um left my clove oil to infuse and this is the color that it has now it has properly infused into the water so this is my clove water i'll be sieving it now and then i'll come back to show you guys this is my spray bottle i know that the quantity i'll be doing will be a lot so um this bottle would not be enough so i got this old um living conditioner that i had in the house that i've exhausted so i i kept the bottle and i'll be using this bottle as well and hopefully these two bottles will be enough to contain the water and if it's not enough i'll just leave the rest in the fridge and then uh, use it as i go so let me see it and show you guys okay, so i just finished sieving the water from the clove and i'll be putting it in my bottle I think so I don't spill it on the floor I'll just do this so 
this is what this is the water I have left. I would check that out if I have a bottle to use. Uh, but if I don't have a bottle to use, I will just um, cover it and put it in the fridge till I run out of the one in any of this bottle, and then I would uh, refill it back. This is my clove oil. This is how it looks like. We've come to the end of this video. I will be showing how I apply this to my hair and the process is simple. I would spray this to my hair and um, seal it in with the clove oil as well and that's what I'll be doing for the entire 30 days. This is day two and I have not applied the clove water and I'll start applying it from um, a week to from five days to this time. That's because I'm currently on a frontal wig and I already laid it down and it wouldn't move <laughs> so i'm hoping that after a week it would be easier for me to take out the wig and i would start using this water from that time um i don't think the water gets bad i don't think it's poised i don't i've not heard of it i've not noticed it so i think it should still be fine but thank you guys for watching um please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and if if you've used clove water consistently um i would also like to hear from you let me know does it dry out your hair what what has it added to your hair did it work did it not work just let me know um yes that's basically everything about this video thank you so much see you in the next one bye